my name is Pam Bruzina, and I've been a professor here at MU in the Department of Nutrition and Exercise Physiology since 2000. So I've been here um, 20 years. Obviously, I love it here. Um, I grew up in Madison, uh, Wisconsin, and I went to the University of Wisconsin Madison for my undergraduate degree. I uh, majored in uh, molecular biology, and I was on the track and cross country team. And um, being a student athlete really had an impact on my um, research interests and I've carried some of that through to this day. Um, after I finished my undergraduate degree, I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do with myself. So I applied to graduate school. Um, I was interested in something more applied than molecular biology. So I applied to nutritional sciences and sort of unbeknownst to me, it was one of the um, best programs in the nation. Um, I applied to the master's program and my advisor said, why not the PhD program? And I said, okay. So I um, finished my PhD there. It took me um, six years, so it was a long haul. Um, after that, I did a postdoc at Cornell University in the Division of Nutritional Sciences there in maternal um, and child nutrition. Um, so I got a lot of experience in um, not just human nutrition, but also community and international nutrition there. And after that, I came to the University of Missouri. And there are a couple of things that appealed to me about coming here. One of them is that Dr. Kathy Peterson, who is here, was a postdoc in um, my lab at Wisconsin. So I had a friendly face already here. And then the other thing is that the department is nutrition and exercise physiology. So even though my formal training is in nutrition, um, being an athlete, I had a, an interest in exercise and it always seemed a little um, silly to me that we would consider um, one without the other. So th the fact that we had a department where nutrition and exercise physiology were housed together and where researchers were collaborating together and working together um, really appealed um, to me. So my um, research has um, been in various areas. When I first got here, I was studying the effects of iron deficiency on training adaptations in women primarily. I did some studies looking at um, dietary intakes and dietary behaviors of student athletes. And then I really transitioned my focus to bone health. So looking at um, the effects of physical activity as a treatment for low bone mass in men, looking at um, how menstrual disturbances impact bone health. And then most recently, I just had a doctoral student finish up and her project was looking at the effects of um, BPA, which is an uh, estrogen um, disruptor that's found in the environment in plastics, um, how maternal intake of BPA can impact the bone health of offspring. So really um, done a lot of focusing on bone. Um, in the past three years, uh, I have been appointed um, Mizzou's faculty athletics representative, and that takes a lot of my time. So my research isn't as active as it was, but um, still very um, interested in, in what things I was working on. Um, I am the director of graduate studies for the nutrition track of our nutrition and exercise physiology programs. And um, even though we have two tracks, we really are one cohesive group. And I think that's something that um, really holds true throughout our department at all levels. We're a relatively small department and um, there's a lot of camaraderie and, and we're very much supportive of each other. A couple of fun facts about me. I live out in the country near the Missouri River um, with my husband and we have five cats all strays. So you probably see behind me the cat exercise <laughs> exercise wheel, which they actually run on. So thank you. And I, I hope to um, meet you sometime. So glad you're interested in Mizzou and what we have to offer. I'm Jennifer Bean, one of the faculty with the dietetics program here at Mizzou. One of our offerings that it will set us apart from potentially other nutrition programs that you may be considering is we do have an entire series of medical nutrition therapy or how diet is involved in the treatment of acute and chronic diseases. We would love to have you join us, especially if you're interested in clinical nutrition and clinical nutrition research. Hope to see you there. I'm Dr. Jackie Lindbergh and I'm assistant professor in the Department of Nutrition and Exercise Physiology. 
I'm part of the exercise physiology faculty, and my research focuses on how the nervous system controls blood flow and also blood pressure during exercise, and also during environmental stressors like low oxygen. We're primarily interested in how the nervous system controls blood flow and blood pressure in conditions related to obesity, like sleep apnea and insulin resistance or diabetes. I also teach the Human Pathophysiology course for the senior undergraduate students, and I'll be starting an environmental exercise physiology course coming up in the next spring. My research uses all human models, so um, human research participants will come into our lab here at Gwynn Hall or the Clinical Research Center, where we'll monitor vitals like heart rate, blood pressure, breathing, and blood flow during different perturbations. My group consists of a lab, a lab manager, as well as graduate students and a number of undergraduate research assistants.